Hi, I'm Forstendra, and this is Getting Over It with Bennett Fuddy. I have seen someone play this, or I have seen several people play this, and that is quite hard. And I've been watching this, and I've been thinking to myself, as the famous Clarksonians uh, from 4th BC said, how hard can it be? Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's see how hard this actually is. And I'm gonna use the mouse because uh, I have put away my controller and I don't remember where I have put where I have put it. So okay, I'm only gonna use my mouse. Oh man. Okay. No. No. Yes. Yes. Um. No. Uh, no. Yes. Uh. Yes. Nice. This is going way better than I thought it would be. Nice. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black, if you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food, <coughs> if you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view, starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. No! What? No! Yes! Alright. Crap. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress. Always. Even your mistakes. What? Yes! This no. game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002 called Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazzor, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of bee games. And bee games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly no. to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a bee game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No! No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Crap. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly Crap. in danger of falling. Yes. Falling and losing everything. Mm. Oh no! What? <laughs> Come on! Oh. Yes! Yes! No! Uh, yes! No! Uh, yes! Why am I touching the spacebar? Uh, yes! No! Yes. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this no. dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree. A lot of people never got past it. Prod and poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Uh, crap. Come on. And swoosh. And swish. And yes. Man. No! No! Oh, mm. you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. Uh, 
crap. I didn't lose that much progress. I'm just bad. Okay. Slow. Ah, uh, swoosh. And s No, 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 no. Mm. Crap. Yes. Yes. Uh, no. Mm. Yes. Oh. Oh. Nope. Crap. Mm. Yes. S mm. Oof. Sorry about that. No, oh, you were oh, supposed to. Again. Keep on trying. <sighs> You were supposed to. S oh, no. oh crap! You were supposed to stretch your arm out. Oh, no. Yes. No. Why can't you? Why I? <laughs> Quicker. Yes. Okay. Clicking doesn't do anything. I don't. Okay. I'm gonna. Ah. Oh. Okay, that didn't work at all. Okay, get further in. Yes. Mm. Come on, man! Do as I think, not as I do. Yes. Mm. Come on, yes. Yes, we're almost back to where we were. No, this thing that we no. call failure is not the falling, <gasps> but the staying down. Mary Pickford. I don't care who you are. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, no. Yes. Yes. No. No. Why are you tilting that way? You're supposed to land flat on the barrel. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. 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 No, 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 Yes. 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 Can you please do that? And then we swish and swoosh and swash and bam. No! No. Yes. No. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh. Oh. Okay, we need to get to the other side. Oh no 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 no! Yes no! <laughs> oh. And that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazzo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to yes. the process no. of building a game about climbing. Oh. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it. And it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. No. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with, and in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set 
until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking no! into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Come on. And... Launch! And... Launch! Yes. And... And... Launch! Uh, no! Yes! No! Uh, yes. And launch. Yes. No. 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 No, 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 no. Yes. Okay, how am I... Try to hang from that lamp. Oh no! Mm. No! Don't push away. Slow. Yes. No! That was the wrong way. I have forgotten how I got up to the lamp. Because I'm not paying attention, I'm just doing things. Then I suddenly... Crap. No. Mm. No. No, 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 no. I will get past this thing I'm about. And no, and no, and no. Crap. Ooh, You've no. done this part before. You know it's possible. <laughs> it first time. Yeah, I haven't done this part before. I have. It's. I have just gotten to the first lamp. Huh. <laughs> oh no! And swoosh! No. Up. Mm. No! Yes. No! No! And no, police. Sometimes you slide and sometimes you don't, you stupid kettle man. <coughs> yes. <coughs> stupid kettle man with the strong <coughs> arms. Mm. Sledgehammer. No. No, 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 no. No. No, I wasn't supposed to do that. I was not supposed to do that either. Uh, 
Uh, no. Why are you doing this? I was holding my mouse still for freaking doodly do sake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Yes. And uh, now what? Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes. No. Land on the lamp, please. No, that's not landing on the. That's not landing on the lamp. Mm. Piece of poop. Oh. oh. Yes. No! I thought that tree was solid. Yeah. Sol would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. <laughs> Stupid quotes and st stuff and things. Oh, no. <laughs> Is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. And launch. And swish. And swoosh. And I we go down. me a peace above all earthly dignities. A still and quiet conscience. William no. Shakespeare. There is no peace in this. There is no tranquility. <laughs> no. That didn't work. Okay. On top of you. And launch. Oh no. No 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 no. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Uh launch. <laughs> okay, crap, that didn't work. And launch. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. That feels so good. Oh, and we're back to the stupid, stupid, stupid tunnel thingy. <gasps> yes. No. No. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> I was holding my mouse still. Why can't you stand still, you piece of poop? Why did I had got uh, my nose is scratching? That's what I'm blaming this one on. My nose needed a scratch. Yes. Okay, don't do anything. Let's launch. Oh, no! Yes, yes! And squish is squish. Hmm. Land on the middle. Land on the. I am putting my mo mouse I'm putting my mouse down but it doesn't go downwards for years now people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects bought in a store and assembled into a world and for the most part that hasn't happened because the objects in the stores are trash I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made although a lot of them are I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context, and once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Who puts their food in the sink? What? But in <laughs> I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. And good night.